Hello everyone and welcome to Thread Painting Behind the Scenes! I'm Kate Hughes and I'm an embroidery artist that is working out of my home studio in Arizona and I started this series to show you a little bit of the behind the scenes process of stitching my pieces. I do original work and commission work and today in one of my original pieces I'm going to be sharing the process of stitching the long flowing hair on one of the girls. So let's get started. When I'm stitching hair, I always start with a color that is the darkest in the hair tones. So for this blonde hair, the, one of the darkest tones is a dark brown. I'm using DMC 3371 to achieve that underpainting layer with some long stitches going up and down in the direction that hair naturally flows. Then I move on to one of the other darker tones in the hair, which for this blonde hair, I used DMC 300. It's a little bit of a reddish auburn tone and it helps add, again, a little bit of dimension and adds to the underpainting of the overall hair texture. I like to leave some space between, you know, my stitches when, as you can see, but what I'm doing right now is I'm coming in with a little bit of black DMC 310 to really define the areas that I want to be the darkest before I come in and do some stitching with my highlight color. The highlight color that I chose for this blonde hair is DMC 436. And again, I'm doing some long stitches, but I'm also doing some short angular stitches to mimic that wavy texture of the hair. Finally, I come through with DMC 780 and I, that's kind of a orangey blonde color that helps to blend all of those really light highlights with the dark lowlights that I've already stitched. And at the end, I come through with DMC 310 just to round out my edges and make everything look nice and finished. If you have any questions about my technique or how I executed this flowy dimensional hair, feel free to leave a comment or send me an email at kate at katehughes.biz or you can always go to Instagram, I'm at katehughes.art. 